All right, hello students. Welcome to our A10 uh, work, our preparation for working with electric circuits. What we're going to do in class is uh, work hands-on with a few, a couple of different circuits. Let's take a look at them first before we come back to this. So here's a uh, Arduino Uno microcontroller shown here, and it is provide going to be providing power to our circuits and the breadboard. Uh, we'll make sure and add a link to the how a breadboard works and how all these little holes allow you to make connections. Uh, I'll add a there's a good video for that. We'll add that as well. So uh, this uh, Arduino Uno microcontroller is going to provide uh, be our power source. Although it is of course getting its power, uh, will be getting its power from our computers in class. Uh, our first circuit we'll explore will be this little lighting circuit, so we can tell when we have power coming to our breadboard. That's what we're going to work on first, but later on we'll look at the series connections of resistors and take some measurements, and then I'll show you a second circuit here. Um, same configuration, except for now the resistors are in a parallel setup. So we'll uh, do work on both of these in a virtual environment right now, and then we'll work on them uh, in class uh, during week 11. So let's go back to our little description here. So we're going to complete a little virtual circuit modeling experience uh, similar to our hands-on work. Hopefully this will allow us to develop an understanding of simple resistive circuits and explore some of the concepts uh, in circuit development and analysis. Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's voltage and current laws. These uh, will be seen in the introductory circuits course later, uh, but getting a feel for them a little bit now will be good work. Also, we'll capture some data uh, in the virtual environment so that we can get a feel for how those measurements make sense of both of, uh, Ohm's law and then Kirchhoff's voltage and current laws. Uh, let's go on to our circuit simulator. So the website shown up here is falstad.com slash circuit. It's a Java-based programming environment um, that allows us to set up circuits. And so we're going to set up, I'll switch over to our circuit just for a second here and zoom in. So this small LED, red LED here, the switch and a resistor are used to, when you press this switch, that um, LED will light up and it ensures for us, allows us to do a quick check to make sure our power is getting to our board correctly. So that's what we're going to set up first in our circuit simulator. So let's get started here and get to familiar with this environment. We're going to go to circuits and choose a blank circuit down the left hand, down the, at the bottom here. That clears things off. All right. Now, if you haven't, let's go ahead and set up, you give the option. You can go with a black background or a white background under options. And to get started putting um, circuits together, we can do draw, inputs and sources, and we're going to use a voltage source that happens to be two terminal. So select that, and we'll stretch it up, click and hold and drag and let it go. So that's our first component. It's a, a two terminal voltage source. Now we'll add, go to outputs and labels, and add our LED. Outputs and labels, add the LED. And we're going to go this direction. You'll notice that the LED is directional. It's got uh, kind of an arrow on it. And as the if the current's flowing the correct direction, it will light up. Our next piece will be a, our passive component. So passive component, and it's a switch. And we'll stretch it down as well. And next, a resistor. Draw a resistor. Put that in here. And add a closing wire to the circuit. Add a wire. And now you'll notice that circuit st current starts flowing. I'm going to add a little uh, current motion here, a little increase on speed there on the right. And we can open and close the switch and start and stop the current flow. Let's add some text labels to this to properly label our work. So draw, outputs and labels, and then go to text bar, text, and click. Okay, so then we can right click on this and edit it. 
Our first one we want to do is our power supply. We're going to do an Uno and a couple of spaces and a 32 uh, Uno 3.3 volts. I'm going to change the font size to 12. Click OK. And now if I hit the space bar, that allows us to move space bar and then click and move this. It allows us to place that where we want it. I can also use the copy and paste command. So as I select this, I can copy with control C and control V for paste. So with most things, I'm gonna put a few of these around. Place those, again, I'm just copy, uh, just do, using the paste command. Uh, I accidentally selected two of those. And I think I will add one more for our title up here. And let's go ahead and get the title piece out of the way. I'm going to right click on that and edit that. That's going to be uh, your uh, GU login. Oops. GU login. And this is going to be our power LED. So the lamp that is currently on, we're going to do a power LED so we can identify that. We'll edit the description for the switch, of course, and it will be switch. And finally, edit the resistor label. And for now, we'll just call it a resistor. Technically, it's a current limiting resistor. Uh, reduces the amount of current flowing through the circuit. But that gets us in a pretty nice configuration. We've got everything labeled. And you can see, I've, again, I've hit the space bar to move us to select mode. I can open and close this circuit. Uh, I also have the opportunity here to do some editing. Uh, I can, I notice that this circuit is actually kind of turned around, so I'm going to grab just the end of it and flip it around. I like it when the switch is open to the outside rather than inside. Does it make a difference electrically? No. So there's the circuit running. Um, we need to change this voltage source, actually. Let's do a right click on that and edit it. Um, it's, right now it defaults to a 5, but it, for us we're going to use 3.3 volts. And then on the resistor, I'm going to right click on that and edit it as well. Um, they are, its default is 1000 ohms, but we're actually closer to 980 ohms. So we're going to click 980 and it edits that. All right, so you can also double click if you want to reach some of those eight same editing options. The LED and I think our last piece here is just kind of recognizing what happens when we hover over an object. So if you look down to the lower right of the white space here, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Let's center this. I'm going to do edit center circuit. Puts us in the middle of the screen. So as I hover over the battery here, the voltage source, it down below you'll see that it provides the voltage source title. Uh, it actually shows the current and the voltage, and then an equivalent resistance, and then the power used by it. You'll notice that the power is negative because it is providing the power or giving off power to the other devices. So let's take a quick look here. Um, I want to capture some data. I'm going to switch to the circuit simulator data. So you should have downloaded uh, this um, spreadsheet. And let's fill in a few of the bits of data about this two-terminal source. I'm going to go hover over the voltage two-terminal source and we'll collect this data. So hovering over this voltage source, we see a current of 1.72, a voltage of 3.3, and then a power of minus 5.67. So it said voltage is 3.3, current is 1.72, power is minus 5.677, and the resistance, uh, you know, notice that it had a parenthesis set around it. Uh, power supplies have an equivalent resistance. In this case, um, they identify that in a set of parentheses. So we can't enter that. It's not one that will um, 
and that was 1918, uh, 1918. But let's gather the rest of the data on these uh, remaining devices, including the top and bottom wires. So let's start with the resistor. The resistor is also has the same current, 1.72, a voltage of 1.686, and a resistance of 980, and then a power of 2.9. So let's go back to that. So uh, our voltage is 1.686, current 1.72, power 2.9, and then the resistance which we entered was 980. Just double check my measurements there. 1.686, that was the one I was questioning. All right, so now the LED, let's see what it's doing. Hover over it, it shows its symbol rather than being on and off. And of course, if it's off, the power and measurements are a little bit crazy, so we keep it closed. Hover over that. Current 1.72, voltage 1.614, and then power 2.777. And again, that voltage was 1.614. 1.614 current 1. Point, uh, excuse me, 1.72, and the power 2.777. Okay, let's go look at these wires, the other components in this circuit. So, if we hover over this wire, happens to be just the bottom wire. Um, it shows a current but no voltage and again technically wires have some voltage but it's so small it's negligible for these um, types of circuit analysis so let's put in the current and the voltage for that bottom uh, element okay so the bottom wire was a voltage of zero and the current is 1.72 and we actually did not have a top wire. This shows a, a change. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this row. Okay. Uh, you, I may have already deleted this for you. All right. So that gets us to this bit of uh, data. So we've collected data on how to power the light. We've learned a little bit about how to uh, move things around and change connections. And if you've put in your GU login, the last thing we need to do is save this file as an example. So file save as. It's going to place it in your um, downloads folder, but you have to select that file, tell it to go ahead and save it. And depending on your browser, it may pop up in the upper right hand corner with the, with the down arrow, or if you're on another browser, it may pop up on the lower left. So once you've done that, you can click OK. I'm going to go ahead and open that, the location where it's sitting. And that file right there, I want to rename it. And we're going to put your team number and letter. And it's going to be A10 and then your uh, GU login. And this is a dash one. This is our first one. You'll open this again, uh, make modifications to this and save it. But it is just a text box creating, um, working on, it shows the connections between nodes and it's an interesting way that this Java applet works to solve the uh, circuits. So, but it is just a text pad. This is what you'll submit once you've made the second and third modifications. You'll submit just your final version. All right, so that brings us to an end for this one. Again, uh, we were exploring our simple um, how to use the tool to arrange circuits. On our next one, we'll set up the series circuit and complete its measurements.